You see that big hose right there? Gotta get rid of that. Ah, there we go. Life. No, it's just a box cutter. Got it. I can't do this one-handed. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, I've disconnected the, this, what is this called, a hose? Yeah, disconnected this hose now. And uh, now I can officially get started. Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Hayes. So, today's project takes place in South Beach, baby. We are going to be painting right here where it all happens at a nonprofit for autistic children. And I can't wait to show you guys what's going on. It's called Beyond. And um, without further ado, let's get into it. So as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of space to paint here. So really, I am working with a lot of restrictions, but that's okay. All I'm gonna do today is just get the walls here painted with my doodle grit. And then I'm gonna put my outlines down and we're gonna go ahead and get up out of here. That's it for today at least. Check it out. Nice. There were some lines I didn't get a chance to get up. That's really just because I thought I was tall enough to reach the highest spots. <laughs> I've gotta get some other flowers up at the top and clean some of that up get the words in and start filling tomorrow. So looks like I got a heavy day of work. See you guys soon. Here we are back again, day two of our South Beach project. And we're gonna really take the time to fill it in today, really make it look clean, and um, try to get out of here in two days or so because some of these projects just take way too long. <laughs> So, tip number 962, whenever you're deciding to put in any kind of fade, okay, you always want to make real separations in the colors, like right there, there's a line. And why do we do that? We do that so that ultimately you can find a color in between and then start breaking those, very, those um, gradients down because the more colors, the better the gradient. Wow! All right. 
right, so I didn't get as much as I wanted done. However, I learned a lot of things on the front part of this wall, and now it's just a little bit of fading out the background, and tomorrow is going to be really deep painting in the flowers and making them really cute. And then I've really got to work at making this circle here that's going to bring it all together. I've got to make that actually a circle. This is going to be a really cool, interesting technique that I bring by tomorrow. I'm going to bring me a long string and a pencil, and we're just going to use it like a compass. <laughs> so yeah, outside of that, I am just excited to see what's to come next. You guys stay happy. Talk to you soon. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. I always find it interesting that every single job, like this one right here, always has its own unique problems, issues, things that we have to deal with. And this one right here, th this big one right here, or, or, or that one right there, or this crazy alleyway, that I have to worry about getting hit in every single day, or every single time I come to paint here. What would you do about this? Especially if you're trying to record taking videos. Put it down below in the comments and let me know. <laughs>
but we'll figure it out. Don't we always? <laughs>